Hello again, everybody. David Colco, 7th Avenue Wine Liquor Company in Brooklyn, New York. Today's wine, we're trying the Da Vinci Chianti 2006. Chianti is a region. It's not a grape type. Chianti is a region in Tuscany and Italy. And the grape that is used exclusively in true Chiantis and Chianti Classicos are, is the Sangiovese grape. Um, and we know that when we recognize that it has a DOCG um, appellation, which means de Denominazione Originata Controllata Garantia. I think you could probably figure out what that means in English. It all sounds very similar, right? But it means it's legitimate, it's government sanctioned uh, wine only made with the Sangiovese. Other wines made in Tuscany that do uh, that have uh, blends of Sangiovese and Merlot or Sangiovese and Cabernet and so on and so forth, they're going to be called IGT. And I think that's abbreviation for Indicazione uh, Geo Geografica Tipica. That's my Italian for you, coming back from 30 years ago. Uh, at any rate, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, the brain is a fascinating uh, organ, isn't it? The second most fascinating organ, I should think. Uh, when we see that uh, we're drinking a Chianti, the first thing that we think about, of course, is pastas. And of course, um, yes, the, these wines are really engineered, of course, to match the cuisine that predominates in, in a particular country. And of course, in a country as old as Italy is, in terms of uh, the, the different uh, regions that eventually came, became federated in the last hundred years or so, um, you're still talking about a, a cuisine that's, that's rather old and evolving, and the wine making, the viticulture evolves with the cuisine happening. So you have wines that are perfectly suited to the cuisines in question, which is why Italian food is so damn delicious when you have the right wine. So let's hope that this one uh, lives up to that uh, expectation. Red wine, long life. Isn't that right, Jimenez? That's right. Mm. Sangiovese grape um, usually uh, creates a rather wiry type of red, depending on how much uh, aging it takes in uh, barrels does take very well to oaking. Uh, this wine has well integrated oak, not overwhelming at all. It still retains a kind of a wiry, lean profile, which is great to cut through pastas, especially uh, meat pastas. Um, it has cherry fruit, and the best of all, it has a sense of place, meaning it has um, terroir, or I guess the Italian version of terroir is terra, which means a combination of earthiness, but also earth that is really evocative of that particular part of the world. So when we talk about terroir in France, we usually talk about Bordeaux and being evocative of that. Here's the same kind of thing. You have to start thinking about, you know, the Tuscan countryside, which is, you know, among the most beautiful countrysides in the world, of course. So again, cherry fruit, lean and wiry, which means the tannins are there and persistent, but not uh, too bitter. And of course, medium acidity, so you get an overall balanced wine. This is a good wine, and I highly recommend it. Uh, you, you could do weeknight uh, pastas. Um, you should, certainly could do pizza. That includes in that, uh, is included in that. And of course, lasagnas uh, and so on. And if you wanted to, you could certainly have um, a steak, but try to do a steak with uh, some sort of Italian recipe behind it, so that again, it melds beautifully with the wine in question. That wine being, once again, the Da Vinci, what a great artist he was, genius. Uh, da Vinci Chianti, this is the 2006. Maybe the rest of the vintage, uh, of 2006 vintage and other producers will be as good as this one. I certainly hope so, and you'll have to tune in to find out. See you once again very soon.